brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to another study in the series of the Bible, the authoritative source of our theology. Today's lesson is entitled culture. Now, culture is, one, is a word that we've actually come across at one point in our lives. According to the dictionary, culture is a set of ideas, customs, rather beliefs of a particular society. We all belong to one culture, perhaps cultures. And it's this culture, rather cultures, that influence us. The type of culture that we're talking about is the culture of the Bible. Think of the ancient Israel in the Old Testament, and how it was corrupted by the cultures around it. Do you think we are any better today? Well, the word of God is also given in a specific culture. While culture factors influence our understanding of the Bible, we should not lose sight of the fact that the Bible transcends established cultural categories of ethnicity and social status. This is one of the reasons the Bible surpasses any human culture. Allow me to turn to the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verses 15 to 17. The Bible reads, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the last of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Let's try, and, let's try to understand this by asking ourselves these two questions. What does John mean when he says that we should not love the things of the world? And how can we live in the world and yet not have a worldly mindset? Well, it's important to know that culture is affected by sin, despite it being the facet of God's creation. It also stands under the judgment of God. Some aspects of our culture might align very nicely with our faith, but we must always be careful to distinguish between the two. And we can only do this if we have the spirit of God in us. Biblical faith should challenge the existing culture and create a counterculture that is faithful to God's word. It's only when we have God in us, it's only when we have Christ Jesus with us that we'll be able to overcome that which is in the world. Allow me to read some quotation from the book, Cancers to Parents, Teachers and Students, by Ellen White on page 323. She states, the followers of Christ are to be separate from the world in principles and interests, but they are not to isolate themselves from the world. It is important to note that as Jesus Christ did, he was separate in principles and interests, but there was not any point that he isolated himself from the world. Instead, he mingled constantly with men. In fact, not to encourage them in anything that was not in accordance with God's will, but to uplift and ennoble them. As emulating Jesus Christ, we should follow in his examples. In conclusion, I implore you, brothers and sisters, to make the word of God a standard of judgment for every principle that guides our daily lives. Have a blessed day wherever you are watching from and may God bless you.